And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Last time we mapped and learned about a big chunk of Asia. We even gave you a quiz about all those countries. Today we're gonna quiz you again, but this time it's with Central America. Stop, 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 stop. Daddy, what are you doing? You're interrupting our video on Central America. Nope, no I'm not. I'm actually gonna be part of the video this time. You are? What? I am gonna be quizzing you. <laughs> I don't want you to. No. Uh, <laughs> I didn't study for the quiz. I'm gonna ask you a question and you're gonna to try to tell me which country we're talking about, all right? Okay. All right, I'll give you a choice. I'll give you three choices for three of the countries in Central America. And this is pretty easy because there's only seven countries in Central America. Seven? I thought there were more. No, I just should... seven. Seven countries. Can there, sh you... there should be ten. I'm going to ask one hard question, and then I'm going to ask one easier question, and then maybe you'll be able to get uh, which country it is. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this quiz! Question number one, our first country. Which country's name means depths? Do you guys know what depths means? Deep? Deep. Well, the depth of something is how deep down it is. If the name of something is depths, that would mean it's something that has deepness to it. Is it El Salvador, Guatemala, or Honduras? Honduras? It is Honduras! <laughs> I was... How did you know? I don't know! You don't know Spanish! Well, I don't know how you did it, but great job. I guess the name comes actually from Columbus when uh, he sailed there, found the waters on the coast of the country to be very deep. Honduras has the ruins of Copan, which is a, a site of Mayan civilization, a very important one, and it's filled with amazing hieroglyphics that tell the story of the civilization. It's question number two. Which of these countries has about 20,000 different types of spider? Belize, Nicaragua, or Costa Rica? Oh, Belize. It's like Elise, but Belize. Belize. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I'm gonna ask a second question to see if you can get it right. This country, the same one that has 20,000 species of spider, also a country that has a 96% literacy rate. That means 96 out of 100 people can read. That's great. Costa Rica. You got it right, it's Costa Rica. <laughs> It's time for question number three. three. Yeah, qu uh, question number three for country number three. The question is, which country has almost 500 rivers and 300 of them go to the Pacific Ocean and the rest of them go into the Atlantic? So is this El Salvador, Guatemala, or is it Panama? Is it El Salvador? It is not El Salvador. Oh, wait. We did a video Panama, on it. Panama, is it? It is Panama. <laughs> Panama is amazing because, one, it has the Panama Canal, which connects um, the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, and that's a way to get to the other side of the world. Panama is kind of a skinny country. It has uh, kind of a, a twisty shape. Check it out on the map, girls. There it is right there. Yeah. How would you describe the shape? I would describe it as a seahorse. The thing in the middle is like its fin, and then the bottom is like the curly tail. 
I'm gonna have to Google to see if anyone has ever described uh, Panama as shaped like a seahorse before. You may be the first one who has ever described it as a seahorse. Might be the first person to ever describe Panama as a seahorse. Put it on your, put it on your resume. In Panama, you can see the sun rise on the Atlantic and set over the Pacific from the same spot. You, you know where you have to be standing on top of? You have to be standing on top of a volcano. Oh my God. Yeah, but it's not. It's a. It's a dormant volcano, so it, it won't. It dormant means it's sleeping. It's a sleeping volcano. This is question number four. What country is it that has the only freshwater sharks? in the world, Belize, El Salvador, or Nicaragua? I'm guessing Nicaragua. Do you agree with this, Gabrielle? Yes. You should, because she's right, it is Nicaragua. Can you swim in that lake, or will sharks eat you? Okay, shark update, shark information update. I just Googled it. They're actually not freshwater sharks. They actually swim in from the ocean through a river and hang out in the lake, and they actually do eat people. I will not swim. Yeah, so don't swim there. No. It's our next question. Question number five, country number five. Right. Five. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we were talking about um, sharks in a lake in Nicaragua, and now we're gonna talk about another lake in another country, and this is the deepest lake in Central America, and it's also been called the most beautiful lake in the whole world. What country is this lake in? It's called Lake Atitlan, and it is either in Belize, El Salvador, or Guatemala. Guatemala. You say Guatemala? Elise is right! At least oh got it right. How are you? I know. I know you're just guessing, but you're doing a great job. Yeah, Have you traveled to uh, Guatemala? You would know. They invented chocolate bars in Guatemala. Oh my god. I know. I didn't know that either. This is interesting. The currency of Guatemala, the Guatemalan Quetzal, is named after the Quetzal bird. That's the name of a bird, the Quetzal. And in Mayan times, feathers were used as money because it's such a beautiful bird. People would trade the feathers and use them as money. Like we use pennies and quarters and dimes as money. They were using feathers of this bird, the Quetzal. And now they named their money, their actual coins, after this bird. So it's still being used as currency. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. All right, girls, which of these two countries has one of the world's most popular scuba diving sites, the Blue Hole? Is it Belize or El Salvador? It's a giant sinkhole in the water, and you can dive down there, and it's beautiful. Belize? This time, Gabrielle is right. Yeah, that's Belize who has the blue hole. And it's also home to the world's loudest creature. And I'm not talking about you, Elise. <laughs> she's a loud creature. She is, but she's not the world's loudest. The world's loudest creature is the black howler monkey. All right, Elise, get ready. Let's hear what you think the howler monkey sounds like. Go. Okay, and Gabrielle, you go for it. We only have one more country, so there really isn't any more game left. That country is El Salvador. And if, as if there wasn't enough volcanoes, um, it's actually known as the land of volcanoes. It has frequent earthquakes, and El Salvador also has a cloud forest. I think other countries in Central America have cloud forests too. You're actually in the clouds, in the forest. It's, you're up so high. Isn't that cool? Would you like to be you in- You can't touch the cloud. Well, it's kind of like fog. You yes. can't really grab it. It kind of would slip through your hands. It's like water. Yeah. I guess. If we were in a plane right now above the clouds and I like fell down, but I had a parachute and I grabbed a piece of the cloud, I would be like, oh, man, I can't touch the cloud. <laughs> and you would keep the cloud in yeah. a jar? 
Keep it at home. Yeah. Sometimes I wish the whole world was made out of candy and then the clouds would be cotton candy. I don't like cotton candy. Did you ever try cotton candy? No, but I don't. You don't like the way it looks. I don't think it's good. <laughs> and uh, here's my last fun fact. According to the internet, according to what I learned online, you're never supposed to arrive on time if you're invited to a home in El Salvador. It might sound strange, but you should arrive a little later than invited, maybe a half hour to 45 minutes later. Wow. That's a long time after. I think that's kind of true for a lot of places, though. I usually don't come to somebody's place. If they if they say come at 3 o'clock, I'm usually 20 minutes after that, unless they say, you know, make sure you're there on time. So I think that's... Come that time and don't miss it. I wonder if we're gonna have cake then. I wonder if it's school this works for going to school too, where you would if the school bell rang, you actually get to come to school a half hour late and that's when you're supposed to get there. That's so much fun. Think about this for a second girls. If being late is the right way to do it, then being late is being on time. Right? Yeah, well, yeah, but that's like Okay, there goes the little puppy leaving North America. Where's she now? She's going to Guatemala. Now she's in Belize, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. She made it to South America. Girls, who have you brought here? Angel! Angel! Don't go cuckoo bananas, okay, Froggy? Let's see, Angel, what's going on? <laughs> Look around! Angel, hi! <laughs> oh, she's wagging her tail! Thanks for watching our video! Like and subscribe! See ya soon! The most important piece in our puzzle is you. Be sure to like. Tell us what you think. And share us with your friends. And of course, subscribe.